morning. Um, this is uh, Bishop Lewis, uh, again, with, with a word of wisdom uh, on this morning. Uh, but before I get started, um, if this channel has blessed you in any way, I would ask that you would like, share, and subscribe uh, to this channel. Uh, I also have uh, a cash app for those who would like to be a blessing uh, to this ministry. Uh, with that being said, uh, I want to talk to some married people who are in turmoil. Glory to God. I, I want to talk to some married people today uh, who are uh, uh, pondering the fact uh, that maybe uh, I married the wrong spouse. But previously, uh, church folk um, were told, and even today are told, um, got to make this marriage work. Um, uh, you, you can't just um, walk away uh, from your husband or your wife. I want to tell you that everybody you marry ain't your husband. I know some folk ain't going to like this, but I got to reveal it to you. Every every man you marry ain't your husband, and every woman you marry ain't your wife. That, 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 that leads me to, uh, to this intro. Whose rib is it? God Almighty, whom the Lord joins together, let no man put asunder. And, and, and so church folk are bound by that not really understanding that God didn't put everybody together. Sometimes you were lonely and got married. You had a need and got married. Um, you, 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 you felt, uh, no, I'm getting too old to be alone, and you got married. Um, uh, the financial situation that you were in dictated that you needed someone or you had to have somebody. And so your finances pushed you into a marriage. Um, your sexual proclivities pushed you into a marriage. Uh, and that was and God, baby, that was our flesh. That was uh, society, societal norms. Uh, uh, they say if you are a pastor, you got to be married. If you are, if you are a woman of God, you got to be married. The Bible says, "Whom God joined." Some of us are in marriages that we put together, and you're suffering, and you're going through hell. Uh -huh. But the church is telling you that you have to stay in this. You've been abused. You got to stay in this. You've been cheated on. You got to stay. The devil is a lie. Whose rib is this? Sometimes we can be hindering ourselves from being blessed because we won't let go of. Because we feel like I'm going to change him. I'm going to change her. Baby, the Bible says that when God uh, created Adam, uh, uh, he uh, put this boy to sleep and pulled from him. Don't miss this. Pull from him a rib. Uh-huh. Uh, and created uh, a helpmeet for Adam. It didn't come from the goat. It didn't come from the sheep. It didn't come from the cow. It didn't come from the pig. Y'all gonna catch me in a minute. It didn't come from the lion, the tiger, or the bear. It came from Adam. Uh-huh. And when he saw her, and when God brought uh, Eve to Adam, Adam already recognized Eve. Why? Because she came from him. Everybody you're carrying didn't come from you. My God. Likewise, women, I mean, everything you're connected to, you didn't come from. That's why they don't hear you when you cry. That's why they don't understand you when you when you constantly tell them over and over again, I'm hurting. I, my God, they don't hear you when you're suffering in silence. It's because God didn't do that. Amen. We did that or someone did that. And we called it God until we said, I do. I'm preaching from experience, y'all. Uh, uh, we we thought we said it was God. We put God's stamp on it until we said, "I do." And the first six months, it was beautiful. And then you found out these people don't even hear me. You know something? This man don't even acknowledge me. You know something? This woman ain't my God. I, I'm telling you, Amen. You need to determine, Amen, whose rib you're carrying. 
My God, my God. If it's not God, let it go. If it's causing you pain and hurt and sorrow, let it go. Everything didn't come from God. Stop blaming God for our mistakes. Amen. And my God, and clean up what you messed up. Give them people their business back. Amen. I'm tired of carrying someone else's ministry. If it's not mine, I got to let it go. Amen. Give it up. Turn it loose. If it ain't, my God, if it wasn't God, you got to get up out of that thing. Amen. Because you'll spend your whole life trying to be what you were never meant to be. And that's somebody else's rib. That's somebody else's ministry. 